So what's new? So many things have happened. <clears throat> Just like everybody predicted, everybody knew it was coming. They've been saying it for eight years now. Another fish festival is happening. Eight years. Festival with a PH. Boom. Yeah. The rumors were true. Yeah. Delaware, racetrack. I mean, they've just been scouring the nation. And by nation, I mean the Northeast to find another racetrack that they can... Well, that's not going to flood. Who says the Delaware is not going to flood? It's hot. It's <laughs> if I know Delaware, I don't know Delaware. I, I know that it is way above the sea level. It's not anywhere near. It's surrounded by the ocean on like three <laughs> sides. All right, so I don't know Delaware, isn't it? Yeah, you're right. Like I'm just joking. There could be a tsunami, man. Tsunami. Yeah, there's a high probability of a tsunami coming through this racetrack. <laughs> it could be a hurricane. There could be flash flood. I don't know. They're, they must be paying a huge fucking premium on their insurance on this one. Yeah. Pete defenders. Yeah, they already had a problem more than once. You know. And after Burning Man this year and it got all muddy. Shit can go down. I had. I still have a vivid memory. Oh, yeah, Coventry. <laughs> of, of, exactly. So finally getting into Coventry, right? We were actually pretty early. But c- clearly it was a disaster. And, like, people were just, like, directing traffic. There was kind of roads, but they were trying to get people. There was these dirt roads that were okay. But they wanted people, to, obviously, to park on the grass, right? That's the whole point. That's where it didn't work, right? The cars and the grass did not work together. Park in the swamp. And the guys were just, like, just, like, Got it. My car was like four inches into the, you know, like the mud grass. Like the grass just sinking. like collapsed. It was just sinking. Hopes and prayers and best wishes <laughs> for Delaware. Delaware, mid August next year because everybody's got time to repair. So just get ready. Buy your boots off of Amazon at least two months before. Yeah. There's going to be a run, run on heady boots. There's going to be a run on heady boots. There's going to be a run on ponchos. There's going to be a run on toilet paper. <laughs> yeah. You know? So just get get geared up. Because <laughs> you're camping. <laughs> you're bringing a tent. No way. You're going to camp on the ground. I mean, I might race have race. a camp. I might have a tent set up. But just I, for what? Like, just for hanging? Overflow. <laughs> <laughs> overflow. Yeah. Like, I don't think I... I, I, I am interested in... Being on site, but not in a tent. I would like to rent an RV or, or, uh, yeah, rent an RV. I have always wanted to rent an RV for a fish fast. Like, I remember being younger and just thinking, like, those guys got it made. I know, they know what they're doing. They've been there, done that. Made. Like, what are these guys at Woodstock or something? The RV is the move. You fly into some faraway place, get an RV, and drive. Drive to Delaware. Yeah. There's a couple hubs in the vicinity. Yeah. Pittsburgh, Philadelphia, Baltimore. You're thinking of going. I don't know. I don't know. If they, I mean, what better experience is there than a fish festival? Like, I would rather do a fish festival than almost anything else, but it's going to be hard to resist if they're playing eight or ten or four shows at the Sphere in April. Like, I'm going to do that, too? I mean, I said I wanted a festival. Because I kind of do... Just the energy. Just It just feels... I like it. Me too. It's been a long time since I... You know, since I've been. And, uh... Listen... But I don't know... I, I haven't booked my RV. Have you booked your RV? No. I've never seen them in Delaware. Me neither. I've got to add that to my stats. That's true. Yeah. You know? Like, yeah. How many shows have they even played in Delaware? It's got NASCAR vibes. Supposedly, it's like walking distance from a lot of things. Like, it's kind of in the middle of a town. Yeah. Now there's like a grocery store close by. Yeah. It's going to be like a real hip happening lot scene at that grocery store. 
You know, like everybody's just going to be like, meet me at the grocery store and let's roll in together. Yeah. You know, like I'll be there at 1200 hours on the 14th. We sold out of tortillas all weekend. <laughs> There's not going to be a tortilla in the state. Yeah. That's another thing you should load up. <laughs> Bring out of state tortillas. <laughs> I mean, th- okay. If they announce the circle. 3D circle. The sphere? Yes. Yeah. That is going to be nice. Would you do the whole run? Would you do a sphere run? I mean, I would probably do like as many as I felt were necessary. (laughs) But like, again, I don't know. Is it going to be on Passover? I don't know. Is it going to be on Easter? Because that's a hard no for me. I like eggs. Yeah, could be on, could be over Easter, could be spring break. We'll just have to wait and see. I would like to catch a show at the Sphere. I would like to catch fish at the Sphere. Totally. I mean, that's like they've been the they've been dropping rumors into the rumor sphere through their rumors rumors mongers for months now. You know, like oh, fish is playing at the Sphere. Fish is playing at the Sphere. New Year, 40th anniversary. No, oh, now we have April. Spring tour. It's going to happen. There's an inevitability. To Inevitable. It, right? I mean, they're just so tight with that whole group that, like, how are they not? Like, Well, yeah, it's Jimmy going spot. I know. Exactly. So, yes, it's going to happen. When? No one knows. Do I want to see it? I do. I do. Well, I'll tell you, when, like, you know, the new year rolls around after, you know, the new when the new year rolls around, when they've traditionally announced these spring tours the last two years... Right, it might not happen, and then the rumor is going to be pushed like they're doing Halloween at the Sphere, man. Yeah, Halloween at the Sphere. So, Vegas is so easy, though. For okay. all, yeah, right. For so, they, actually, for everybody in America, Vegas is easy. Vegas is the easiest place what? to get to. It's the easiest place to stay. There's a million hotel rooms. There's yeah. a million flights. Okay, yeah. So I don't see, like, sure, like. Getting to Dover, Delaware, okay, is a schlep. Unless you live in Dover, Delaware, Pennsylvania, (laughs) sure, or Maryland, got it, or New York, right? You know, or whatever. I'm just saying, Virginia festival requires like cognitive. You know, it's like there's a cognitive load, okay, preparatory cognitive load. Yeah, Vegas is like, what day do you want to go? Like Southwest.com. If you want to go dirty spiritairlines.com yeah and you just like buzz right into you McCarran. buzz in you stay at whatever hotel you want from the motel six to the top of the encore right you can be paying anything from 49 bucks a month to a night to like 4900 bucks <laughs> exactly right and there's but there's no cognitive load like you can make that decision at any time you go in you go out you stay a day you stay three days it doesn't matter Night turns to day, day turns to night. They pump those places full of oxygen. You're ready to roll. Delaware is a schlep. I kind of want to go to Delaware, but it's definitely like, how are you going to get there? Where are you going to stay? What are you going to do? Well, and I think that's why, like, they've developed this formula of, like, okay, it's not just like a show up at the festival grounds and, like, we're going to play a couple sets. They, like, create a whole experience. That's what they've been doing since day one of their festivals right with like all their art and you know interactive stupidity like a you know porta potty pagoda a ferris wheel a fer- ferris wheel there you go you know everybody loves a ferris wheel Love when they're all ferris wheel. three hits of acid or an ice sculpture a super slippery ice <laughs> sculpture <laughs> yeah in like the fourth set that they did at magnaball yeah. Was great. You mm-hmm. know, that like drive in. Mm-hmm. And they had like a giant screen that was all trippy and yeah. cool. Mm-hmm. So I'm sure they'll do like some fourth set that'll be cool. You know? Yeah. I mean, there must be it's some also, creative energy. It's also four days. Yeah. Yeah. Four, which is, which means of, two solid full festy days. At least two three set days, maybe three three set days. Yeah, I don't know what they're going to... Yeah, I don't know. But, like, definitely two, right? And yeah. they might do, like, a teaser in and a teaser out, you know? Yeah. 
or there might be a force that day, right? So like it starts on a Thursday, I guess. Yeah, Thursday will be like a Thursday will probably be like a evening set like Mexico. They're gonna be like surprise, Goose is here. <laughs> yeah, special <laughs> guest, special guest, Rich. No fish show tonight. <laughs> Guys, you can watch Goose. <laughs> They better. Uh, there you go. They'll Love play up like on your fucking rotten vegetables. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Thursday they're gonna ease everybody in like an acoustic like drift while you're sleeping. A more right. Maybe it'll just be like an acoustic set, but like not called an acoustic set. It'll just like just welcome you. You know. I think I, I don't. I don't. I think like they have a hard time doing that. I think they have a hard time doing it. Albuquerque. That's what they do in Mexico, and they always like pull out a ripper. I know. I'm just that, like the one set Thursday show that starts at like eight and because they're excited. Yeah, I know. Like you guys are here, they might as well rock and roll. Or maybe they're just gonna have like a a really loud sound check on the bunny, and nobody can actually get. I want you. Yeah, you got me wondering now about like what fun stuff they have planned. Like, what's the fourth set? What's the secret set? What's the yeah. flatbed? What's the tower? Well, they can't do anything like that. I mean, I don't, I don't know what the what the layouts Obviously. like there. Maybe they do like a like a NASCAR set, like a fast. Like, <laughs> everybody get in the middle of the track. Yeah, and we're, we're gonna drive through. really fast. Yeah. No. I don't know. Maybe, uh, maybe they'll do a drone show. Whoa! Like with steelies and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Head. Yeah. Yeah. Did you like that drone show? It was so cool. Yeah. It looked kind of neat. It, it, they don't really do it justice. Like, people's iPhone video cameras don't really do it justice. Because it's not like, it's so big in the sky for real, right? Yeah. And the way it, like, shifts and moves. It was incredible what they did in San Francisco. Yeah. Just kept going. They also used it as a distraction at the end, right? Like, the show was over and they brought them back out. And, you know... Everybody was just like standing there with their mouths agape, and the band just like disappeared, got on their buses, and hauled ass out of there before anybody else could. That's what it seemed like. Anyway, I will. I would love a drone show at. Uh, you know, I saw Danny DeVito at a festival one time. I don't know why you just reminded me, but it had something to do with buses. I think he was on a bus. Danny DeVito was at a fish festival. Yes. Which one? I think it. At it? I swear to God. I think you were tripping, dude. <laughs> <laughs> There's, There's a guy that looked just like the penguin. <laughs> <laughs> Let's Google it. We'll cut back with the answer. Right here. Coventry. What did I say? It? Is that it? I told you. Okay, you're right. I wasn't at Coventry, so I can't confirm or deny whether that happened. This picture right here, Danny DeVito, Coventry, loving it. Okay. He must have taken a wrong turn or something and ended up there. I think people were <laughs> He's like- He's got a laminate, bro. <laughs> He's a guest. <laughs> Whose guest is he? Who, okay, who, Danny DeVito, who, whose ticket, who, who, who did he jump on for tickets? Like, who did he hit? I don't know. Maybe he's been a longtime fan. Maybe he's been to like 200. No, I'm just saying, like, who's his plug? Is he, is his easy, like, Paige, what's up, bro? I'm going to be out in Coventry? Or is it like a mic thing? No, it was probably just like management. Management. You know, like, like uh, my people will my agent will call people. your manager. Got it. I'm coming out, flying on the chopper. Yeah. I think he was, I think I saw him like getting, he, I think he had a bus, you know, like, or one of those uh, cool yeah, really? RVs, the, like the bus style, like Gigantico mm-hmm. RVs. Getting a tour bus for uh, Ooh, for the tour festival because the tour bus is good. I mean, they're they're very expensive because you can't drive them. You need to have a driver. You need to like put the driver up on, you know, in a hotel somewhere because they're not sleeping on the bus with you. You need to. It's, it's way more complicated. I did it once, twice, for Bonnaroo. How many people were on the bus? Like, how many people could you sleep? Were there little Locked. bunks? Yeah, there like was like submarine there was like, style there was bunks. Like Twelve bunks. Yeah, and then like a big room in the back. Yeah, and that's like twelve, thirteen. You know, it didn't pencil out even at like ten people. But do you really want to be on there with fucking ten people? What do you think they're gonna call it? You think they're gonna stick with the ball theme, like blue ball festival? What's the official color of Delaware? <laughs> blue. I don't know. 
So, okay, there's Super Bowl, Magna Ball, Curve Ball, Curve Ball, Clifford Ball. Yeah. It's all the balls. It's all the balls. I wish that they announced it two years ago. I, so that we had two years to prepare, or you two mean years. that they had it two years ago? I, I mean, I wish they had it every year like they did in the 90s, late 90s, you know? So, you, you but I guess, you know, we all have that feeling that this could be the last one ever. What festival is it? 11? 10? No. Festival 8, and then Super Bowl. And then Magna Ball. And Curveball. Curveball didn't happen. Right, but that would have been... So this would have been... This would be number 11. They've had... They have, like, EDM festivals at this place. Like, they have yeah. festivals at this place. Yeah, I know. Yeah. That's why they're, they... I mean, they've had festivals at the Watkins Glen, yeah. too. Yeah. You know? Um, they're not, like, paving the way for Fresh Sight like they did in Limestone. Yeah. I don't think there were any other festivals at the Loring Air Force Base before they did it. It that how many festivals did they have at Lori? I think three. Went wheel it. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, I I, I like a festival vibe, you know. Because what a festival this is what I think about a festival. Tell me. I hope. Okay, so I was listening to the Darien Lake 2000. Okay, yeah. And we were talking about how right now, like, Fish has this jam they find themselves in. Mm. Okay? Like, across shows, across runs, it's just, like, this, like, pocket jam they find themselves in. And then, like, Trey records it because, like, nothing's interesting is happening. We sure. talked about that. Yeah. But, like, I'm reminded, listening to that Darien Lake, you know, like, when they used to find a jam and kind of run with it. Like when they play that Susie and then they play that jam out of it, like it's cool. They were like, wow, we were having so much fun. Let's just like do that. Like, let's see where that goes. And we even talked about it with Jeff when he was on about like Cyprus and how like coming out of that, like what was it like the sand or something like really like set the sound. And then he was talking about the shoreline shows, like the Tahoe shoreline shows and how they had like a sound. And like, I, I, for some reason I feel like festivals are this like little microcosm where you really do get like a sound. I don't know. Mm-hmm. For some reason, like I can, like each festival has its own unique things going on, which feels different than like a summer tour, right? Yeah. And like, what the exciting thing for me would be to like to be there and like see, you know, like what happens there, like with that whole like energy exchange, like with the how many people are we expecting? 60, 80? I mean, is it like full size festi again? Like, well, I think there is. I think this festival they're going to sell sixty to seventy five thousand tickets for sure. Yeah, I mean that's a lot of people. Because think about like since the last festival, Magna Ball, mm-hmm. what has happened for this band? Like they've a resurgence, res- huge resurgence, new fans. Absolutely, Curveball didn't happen and reinvigorated existing fan base. Reinvigorated existing fan base. People are gonna want to do this. Like they've given us enough time now, where like plan your summer ahead. Yeah. And they may do way fewer uh, summer, tour. summer tour shows, like regular shows, at least on the East Coast. They're going to do some. But that's what's drawing, like, that's why I want to go to the festivals, because, like, I feel like festivals, like, have, are these, like, memories that are, like, imprinted in my yeah. mind. And, like, each one had its, like, this, this whole, like, tapestry of stuff. I mean, obviously, so many adventures occur at a festival, but at the same time, like, even from a soundscape perspective, which is different than, like, I caught them from Alpharetta, and then I went to, like, South Carolina, and then, like, I went, like, you know, it's like, okay, like, what happened? Did they play some good shows? Totally. Were there ups and downs? Right. But, like, festivals, like, give them this, like, space to go, like, here's what we did, and, like, here's what we did, like, there. Because that's how festivals are in my mind, like, it, or cypress or whatever they're like these like chunks there is way more it's a way more immersive experience i think for the fans and for the band yeah it's like wide open like we can just keep fucking playing we could you know come on now go off then and like right and like there's no creative and it's like a 24-hour situation for the fans like you're hanging around you're on these festival grounds you're not going back to your hotel with your like tiny little crew you're like out there in the wild with everybody who's, you know, there for the same reason to have a good time. 
and it's just different. Yes, that's what I'm saying. Like, that's why I love about it. So, like, we were... This is a long way of saying that, like, the Sphere is going to be sick, okay? I would, I can't wait to see them in the Sphere, but, like, seven nights in the Sphere, I don't know. Like, whereas, like, three nights at a Festi, I feel, like, creativity and, like, energetically, like, that's pretty cool. Like, yeah. the, the Sphere, I totally love to see, but I don't know if, like, I definitely want to see. I don't really know what I'm saying, but but I just like I'm into I'm into the festi. I know what you're saying is that like, as we said, they've only done this ten times. Yeah, in the how many thousand shows that they've played? Yeah, right. And at every single one, there has been a. It's just a unique experience. It only comes around once every eight years, five years. Seven years, three years. Like, it's not a consistent thing that they do anymore. They did one every year from 96 to 2000. But that's the only consecutive run they've ever done. Mm -hmm. Since then, they've done four. Yeah. In 23 years. Yeah. Woof. Right? Weird to think about it like that. Right? It. Yeah. Oh, no, five. It, Coventry, eight, Super Bowl, Magnum Ball. I didn't do Super or Magna. Just wasn't in the cards. Like, I know. But, like, this one's in your cards. You're, uh, I think you're I'm loading on it. I think I might go. Make if I can happen. I, I think it's worth it. I would drop everything else. That's the best choice. Because it's going to be, as you said, it's not like going to an amphitheater. It's not like going to MSG. Like, who wants to fucking go back to MSG again? Sure. If you live in the tri-state area and you can just like jump in your car or hit the train, go through the fucking tunnel or, or the bridge, bridge <laughs> and fucking catch them at your home court, great. It's easy. Plug and play. Everyone knew this was coming. Yeah. But for some reason, no one's excited about it except, you know, when you live in Chappaqua, like you're stoked. Totally. Because it's like... But You're wasn't everyone just home. there? Yes. Like, everyone was just Two there. months ago. Not even. Not even. 30... D- just over... Did they play in August? Yeah. I know. And it's like... That's what I mean. Like, everyone's, like, supposed to, like, dust off their ticket-buying checkbooks, like, <laughs> and get and psyched get, for MSG get again. Get their face recognized again going into that... People are so bad out of shape. <laughs> oh, who cares? <laughs> Like, you know how many facial recognition cameras you walk by living in New York? Yeah, I'm not going to MSG. I'm not going. Why go to, like, the slush capital of America? The brown slush. Brown slush capital of America for just, like, put it on repeat. You know? Oh, they're going to play a 24-minute tweezer. Woo! <laughs> But it's going to be the, the, that's their 40th. I know. And they're going to do a ga- gag. Sure. And it's going to be, except last year was like the retrospective of all the things. So like this year, it's going to be a retrospective of 40 years. Was there last year a retrospective? Don't you remember last year they did the, all the gags. They brought all the gags oh, right. Because they couldn't come up with a new new something, so they had to do all the They went backwards down the number line. Isn't that what they played or something? Something like that. Right. Yeah. And they, you know. And they got to figure out. They got a lot to think about this year. Well, they got to do. They got to come up with like. Maybe, fourth set. Here, Trey, if you're listening, just do a fourth set game hinge set. With all on New Year's? No. Okay, good. At this, at this, at the Dover. At Dover. You fa- I didn't know you fast forwarded from like, December to August. Sorry, I did jump. I did jump, but I, I, had, I had a bright idea. <laughs> Game they've exact. Got, they've got almost a year to produce mm-hmm. a live performance with actors, and they're just like the house, the house orchestra. You know. Like, let's get a full production performance of the Game Hinge story. Hash it all out. Get all those questions answered that were left unanswered. And let's have the fourth Game Hinge set of all sets that everybody's dreamed of since they first heard what Game Hinge is. That is what you are saying is the thing (laughs) that in the back of your mind... 
you want to happen, and you would hate yourself if you missed it. If you missed it, yeah, forty fucking years, <laughs> okay, yeah, and you're the guy that didn't go to Dover, and you missed the modern game hen set, yeah. Like you got like people in costumes, you got a full stage set up, you do a whole production. You get it all timeline locked in. I mean, they obviously know that that is like low hanging fruit, <laughs> as they say, right? Like when you're thinking of ideas, hey guys, like what should we do? I don't know. Maybe we should ride in a hot dog. I don't know. Maybe it should explode. I know. We should do a game and set. Like someone said that, right? Like someone's reminded them that that's yeah, possible for sure. So one of the biggest FOMO fears. Is like not being present for that eventuality. And either Fish is going to give it to us one time and it's going to be like epic, mm-hmm. or they're never going to give it to us. They're just going to neg us. Maybe like for doing it at the sphere when they've got that whole immersive screen all. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> be there all seven nights. You don't know what night it is. Yeah. Oh my God. I mean, can you imagine? It's not going to happen. I know, but, like, it would be cool. I agree with you. It would be awesome. Because, like, we're all getting old. We're ready for another game to set. The last one was, what, like, 94? Well, what was Grey it? Woods? Woods? Yeah, I was going to say, Grey Woods is the last one. Like, come on, dude. That's so long ago. Yeah. I mean, I'd say half, the fish fan, half of today's fans probably weren't even seeing them in 94. More than half. Right. So, like, it's mythical. It's not even like, it's not like I haven't seen it in 30 years. It's like, I know. And now they have like all this ability to create production value. Yeah. Right. They get like what they did for Chillin' Thrillin'. They had that whole stage haunted house set up all these actors and dancers and costumes and production and everything perfectly timed in and audio visual and all this stuff, like imagine what they could come up with with a year's worth of work to do the Game Hinge Festival set. Like they'd have like Rutherford. Yeah, all the lizard people. Maybe they give everybody who comes in like a costume. Like a lizard, lizard like a lizard green hat. lizard hat that lights up. Yeah. Like the cold play. Like the Taylor that. Swift Eras tour. <laughs> yeah. Just like changes color. You guys are all the lizard people. Wow. I mean, they could, I mean, there's so much creativity they could do with that. And like, it would be so fun. Yeah. Dude. So cool. Game hen set for like that. Dover is the best. You get what's his name? Like Ian McKellen to play (laughs) Aculus. Remember when they brought out uh, to play Rutherford the Brave? Remember at like New Year's when they brought out uh, Tom Hanks? Yeah, <laughs> like you called him back up, get him to play. Uh, we would believe it. We'd believe anyone they said, like, here comes the rock. We'd be like, Woo. yeah, it's just Tom Marshall dressed up as a rock. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or Tra- or Paige's brother. You're right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they got a lot of options. I'm just trying to help out. You know, I know, but like, imagine missing that. It would all be recorded on video. And then they released the DVD <laughs> and the soundtrack. I mean, we've been waiting. I would love more video content from them. Also, can we talk for a second how Bittersweet is only available on DVD? And not... Um, you can't stream it. can huh? I'm not aware of a way that I can... I mean, that's got to be like a red light thing. Like, come on, red light. It's, like, some, it's some... Yeah, it's, it's some, obviously... It's some like... more cash flow for these guys. They're... You know what I did find? Desperate. I found like an It DVD in my garage. Mm. Only it's a double disc. I only have one disc. I don't know what's on it. <laughs> you left the other one in an old. What do you reckon that is? You think it's just like I think it's like just was like a festy, like festy quick cut. Was it a festy quick cut? I can't remember. Or or is there like there's got to be a, like a back a page. I don't know. I'm sure, it's on YouTube. Maybe. Great. We did it. Um, See y'all next week. At Dover. Next year. At Dover. Bye. Bye.